been looking around on YouTube and I've been seeing these floating vegetable gardens. So I'm gonna give my try at it and I'm gonna post some pictures of what I'm gonna be using and uh, making a few little videos and I'll put it together and we'll see how it turns out. Pretty excited. I'm gonna be using some flowers, some herbs, some basil, parsley. I've got uh, some sweet mint here and some Greek oregano. I've got a pepper plant. I'm also gonna grab a tomato plant for my vegetable garden. I've got a couple pool noodles, some aquatic plant baskets, and some zip ties. These are only 97 cents at Walmart. And at Lowe's, you can get these for $2.97 a piece. Here we go. So what I've done here is I've just gone around this basket with some zip ties and I trimmed off the pool noodle, make it fit. And I'm gonna fill it with some of the pond on some flight some floating islands I already had they're just natural that I've been kind of pulling out. It's very organic and earthy. And I'm just gonna put a layer of that in the bottom. I'll go get it just a little bit more. And then I'll I'll put my plant. There, so I finished my first garden, floating garden with marigolds, petunias, and a green pepper. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna put it out there and uh, launch it and see how it goes. <laughs> it looks like it's at a good height. Um, I'm going to tie it off somewhere and just watch it over the next few days and uh, see how the roots and the, the plants take the water. The last basket I made is just in a kitchen strainer that I got at Walmart for a little over 80 cents. The little pieces of pool noodle I had left over from the other two islands I just launched. I have some romaine lettuce I picked from the garden, some buttercrisp lettuce I just picked from the garden, and uh, a marigold and a couple very sad looking petunias. So I'm going to launch it and uh, keep an eye on it. They do look really, really pretty. I made uh, three little floating herb and flower and vegetable gardens. Uh, the first two are plant baskets I bought at Lowe's for $2.97. With pool noodles zip tied around the edge. Uh, this one has a green pepper plant, uh, some marigolds, and petunias. Uh, this one is all herbs basil, parsley, uh, oregano, and some sweet mint. And I think there's a petunia in there. Some petunias that I got on clearance. And this last one is actually made from a strainer I got at Walmart for 87 cents and the leftover pool noodle parts that I cut from the other two. I dug up uh, some romaine lettuce and some buttercrisp. You can see on the, on the right there and some other flowers I found on clearance. So I'm excited and give this a try. I'm just going to watch it and uh, see how it works. Again, this is my, my mini version of some YouTube videos I've been seeing of floating vegetable gardens. We'll see.